was once upon a time, a town not far from a big city. The road ran through, but it was a town of those who wanted to be left alone. You know, we had a mass murderer a while back. A lot of folks think uh, the town's on. Well, I, I'm uh, just wrapping it up here in the town, and then I'm going to be on my way. You come with me right now and take a look at the doozy I got in the morgue. Serial killing appears to be. How'd you like to collaborate on a book about this? You and me. Where did you come from? Just down the road. You passed me. But you can call me V. V, that's nice. What's your real name? Sure. Hey, Bobby, it's Hall Baltimore. I'd like to write that book with you. Have a seat. Tell me what you got. Clearly, it's the work of a serial killer. And that flamingo kid. He's the one that infects them. I want to know the truth. There are consequences. What choice do I have? Tell me all of the story. Just you wait, you're going to be very surprised. Well, it looks like the Day of the Dead remake may finally be coming to fruition. First announced this past July, Millennium Films is reportedly developing a big screen remake of 1985 Dawn of the Dead follow-up. Mark Tonderai will both direct and draft the screenplay for a modern-day retelling of the George Romero-directed cult zombie film. The Great Romero Dead trilogy started in uh, 1968 with Night of the Living Dead. Dawn of the Dead, made 10 years later, picks up where Night left off. Krista Campbell and Letty Grobman, the producers on the new film, are promises that it will attempt to honor Romero's original. Millennium is targeting a summer 2014 release date, assuming all the right pieces fall into place. That's all for today. Like us on Facebook and see you next time.